and now we will start with the uh, results how to show the results <coughs> So um, here uh, we choose first of all streamline L inlet from uh, R1 inlet choose it to be 100 400 velocity ok To decrease the streamline so it get faster. Okay, make it 100 only. As you can see here and we can also add a streamline uh, for uh, the hub okay uh, so we can you can choose where uh, your uh, streamlines uh, would go okay and uh, next uh, we will um, choose for the uh, contour plot okay um, so we uh, contour contour the pressure for uh, the load wall it it to be 50 so you can see here uh, the pressure uh, the generated from the impeller till it increase till it read the outlet of the float has the highest value uh, so uh, yeah as you can see uh, if we made another contour Okay, we shall show the fluid outlet fifty. Okay, so you can see the uh, fluid outlet almost have the same pressure, which is one point eight uh, multiplied by e power four. Uh, which is uh, equivalent to um, 1.6 to 1.8 meter which is good for our case so uh, the thing is uh, uh, here uh, you can get the expression they are calculated automatically from the program but uh, the uh, good thing is you can have all uh, the uh, uh, parameters uh, that define the impeller uh, generated automatically so how to do this from the file you uh, click on report report templates and choose a uh, state report just gonna load uh, gonna take some time to load it
so it's creating the uh, material for uh, the state report okay uh, uh, so we have to create uh, another report for uh, the uh, pump compiler report Also, uh, we have to create a uh, reward for the uh, total pump. Okay, uh, so uh, the good thing is uh, we have execution here. Uh, as we made the reports, execution here is uh, filled with execution we want to calculate. So uh, the, uh, the most common one you would go for, go for is the head drives. Head drives are the component of H1 out, not component of H1 n you have the head rise here in uh, calculated in a meter uh, you have uh, the uh, input power which is the shaft power 1.58 watt you have the loss coefficient which is divided uh, which is defined at the k uh, of the uh, system uh, you have the power coefficient uh, also uh, this is the shaft power or the input power the same uh, you have the total efficiency uh, into out which is uh, here made to be uh, 38 uh, okay um, you can uh, see uh, uh, these values okay uh, for uh, the report how you can export it okay, you go to uh, report viewer just loading the report
Okay, so uh, we have the pump report laid it uh, in here. So we have here is the uh, rotation speed. Uh, the uh, all you can imagine about the uh, information about the project. Okay, it's laid uh, in here. Okay, um, or the diagrams you can just inspect it and see uh, the diagrams. So this is the streamlines on the plate. Okay. So uh, if you wanna uh, have this report, you can uh, publish it as HTML file. Okay, and save it. Okay. So uh, the last thing uh, I wanna uh, show is uh, how to get uh, yeah. If we created a contour and here, uh, if you want to uh, show the, uh, the shear stress, which is important in our case, so you go here and uh, search for shear stress. Wall shear. Okay. Yeah, I think the view port. Okay, okay. It's my bad, my bad. Okay. So, uh, if you want to create the wall shear, just create it for anything uh, you have uh, to measure. Just create it from this menu. Okay. Okay, uh, I think uh, we have finished. Uh, talking about this uh, tutorial about how to make the pump and how to uh, uh, measure the uh, parameters uh, that uh, you want to select uh, the head rise or deficiency over the shaft uh, output and by the way uh, a very uh, important advice uh, here uh, if you go to uh, the head if we go back to the head rise okay you can see here is about 2.17 meter okay but as you go from uh, the safe turbo you have also a, a performance prediction chart which is HQ curve uh, but uh, here is drawn by empirical uh, equation rather than uh, a CFD uh, simulation okay so uh, if you uh, go to CFD turbo uh, add flow rate of about uh, 5 uh, liter uh, you will get ahead about 1.56 meter okay so uh, the um, this is the actual this is the ideal uh, curve and uh, the losses is subtracted uh, from it so uh, if you want to go deep in that you can see here uh, is this slippage loss and here is the hydraulic loss and here is the truck loss you can uh, check these values uh, but uh, for example uh, uh, here uh, you can see that uh, the curve at uh, 4000 rpm is not intersecting with our design point 
at 5 liter per minute and 1.56 meter uh, this is uh, due to the losses so if you uh, neglect the losses for example you did it as one you can see that the actual curve which is at 4000 rpm is getting near to the uh, the time point or the required point to be done so um, this is uh, uh, because of the empirical equation also the efficiencies that is added by the uh, CF turbo so uh, you can edit these efficiencies if you want uh, but uh, in our case uh, we uh, uh, left it to uh, the uh, uh, CF turbo to be calculated okay so again uh, here we have the uh, curve at 4000 rpm but uh, if we want to see how um, so we have to increase the speed to get the design point so we go here and add a curve uh, almost at 4600 uh, 4, we check it okay so uh, it need to be raised more than that 4700 So you can uh, just go for 5000 and you can see it's almost cutting at uh, 5000 RPM. So uh, we know that we uh, for the ANSYS the head rise is uh, 2.17 so uh, and in the sieve turbo it's uh, it's 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 a different value so this because of the empirical equation and the efficiencies done by the sieve turbo while in uh, ANSYS ANSYS doesn't uh, really consider for the efficiencies he, he doesn't uh, you didn't uh, uh, it didn't give him any mechanical or uh, hydraulic efficiency it didn't account for uh, any volumetric efficiencies so uh, for ANSYS yeah it's calculating head but the head is not uh, very uh, accurate as uh, ANSYS itself uh, for the simulation uh, didn't um, go for the volumetric efficiency and the mechanical efficiency etc so um, yeah uh, you can depend on the curves uh, done by the CF turbo and for this case uh, I think we shall um, increase our speed to 5000 rpm so our uh, HQ curve will intersect with the same curve at our design point uh, so I hope that would be useful to you so uh, uh, I think uh, you uh, you will uh, uh, benefit from this tutorial and uh, if you want to ask me anything just um, I'll leave uh, uh, my email in the description you can uh, check it okay thank you and uh, goodbye